Next, we'll perform steps one and two of our uh, analysis of variance. So we're going to start with step one, the overall one-way analysis of variance. We're going to do this all within the linear models dialog. So analyze ANOVA linear models. This is going to look a little bit different from the one-way analysis variance. Our dependent variable, completion time. And then we've got two classification variables, motivation and training method. Now we've got something slightly different here. We're going to need to click on model and tell our uh, model how to put these variables in. And what we're going to do is put in both of these variables as what we call a factorial. So it's going to put in main, uh, uh, motivation as a variable when we click main, training method as a variable when we click main, but we also want the, to test the interaction. So to do that, we can highlight both of those and click factorial. Now we get training method star factorial. It's a little hard to see the asterisk up the top there, but that's what we've got. This training method star motivation is a factorial term. It's an interaction term, and this is what we can use to test whether there's interaction between our motivation and training method variables or not. Okay, let's hit run, see what we get. We've got 12 observations read and used. Good news. We start with our first table here. Our first table is the overall one-way analysis variance. We've got five model degrees of freedom. This is because we've got six groups overall, six combinations of motivation and training method. And so for now, all six of these are being treated separately. Six groups minus one gives us five degrees of freedom for our model. We've got 12 degrees of freedom, 12 observations overall, so 12 minus one gives us 11 degrees of freedom. And the remaining degrees of freedom are attributed to error. Looking over here, we can skip over the calculation of the S statistic and just jump straight to its p-value. Our p-value here is less than 5%. So we conclude there are overall differences among at least some of the means, at least some of the six combinations of motivation and training method differ from one another. So we can skip on to step two now. For step two, we're using either of these uh, tables here. The difference between them is in the calculation of the sums of squares. This one's using what's called type one sums of squares. This one's using type three. In the balanced case, these are going to be identical. In the unbalanced case, they're not identical, but they're going to give us similar answers. I tend to use the type one uh, sums of squares here. For step two, we're testing interaction. So we're looking at this motivation star training method variable. And again, we can skip over to its p-value. Here, this p-value is not significant. It's not smaller than 5%, not smaller than 0 0.05. So we can conclude that there is no motivation, or at least no, uh, sorry, no interaction, or at least no evidence of interaction between our variables.